Good morning guys, welcome to today. We're just getting ready to head out and do all of our weekly chores, our shopping chores. I've got Ellie here. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys really quick. I found something that Sophie's gonna be good at. She learned how to crochet yesterday and has been doing it nonstop. She doesn't know how to read a pattern. She doesn't know how to follow a YouTube video. She doesn't know how to do anything really. Like when you learn, you basically learn one stitch and then you practice that for a few days before you learn another stitch. But already she's made these little creatures. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes, she made a ball. That's a potato. She made a potato. There's another potato over there but it needs to be stuffed. Yeah, so she she's just like playing around with stitches and just like playing around. So uh, I'm busy, I have other things to do. I can't be sitting with her the whole time while she's trying to figure out how to do it. So she's following a YouTube video and she's trying to make a fly mask, but she made ear this. Bonnet. An ear bonnet, yeah. But she made this. Does it have mistakes? Absolutely, but she's picking it up faster than she's picked up anything in the history of the world. Like, she is picking this up, like, sh and she's addicted to it. So anyway, that's exciting. Life is all about finding the things that you're good at because those are the things that you're meant to do. If you're good at it and you enjoy it, you'll continue it, and then that's how you learn to, those are the things that you should be doing for a job because you'll never give up and you'll keep pushing yourself. Ellie's like, put me in the video. Yeah, she got a bad haircut. Tried to give her a puppy cut. <laughs> she looks cuter now. <laughs> she does kind of still look cute. But she needs another bath. She's just such a dirty dog. Anyway, good morning. Let's head out and do all of our farm shopping. Biscuit, guys. This biscuit. So, look, all of our silkies. Aww. So, all of our silkies found each other. So, essentially, they're like a softer, gentler, kinder bird. And our babies, these are our mature birds. These are our babies. And look how pretty this egg is. The babies actually have, they found each other. They're all friends now. That makes me so happy. Look how pretty this egg is. Look how pretty that egg is. It doesn't look as pretty in the camera. It's pink. Nothing looks the same in camera. So let's see. You can't really see, but this one has a really pink sheen to it. Not in outside of the camera. It looks really pink. So because we have babies, we have to buy Baby chicken food, adult chicken food, like all different stages of life, they need a different kind of food. We're getting things organized. It takes time to get things organized. We have a bunch of babies. These are the two new babies, or these are the two outdoor babies. Sophie, pick one up and let's show them. I tried catching one earlier. But she's mean. <laughs> Move you. We just want to see you. <laughs> We're afraid of her. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I can't get the baby. Look, there's one on the perch. Here, hold this. Okay. No way. Girl. <laughs> Chicken. Hold her. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna see your babies. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I had to scoop it up. Hi, baby. Aww. Oh, it's crop. It's so stuffed. Wow. Good. That means they're eating a lot. These ones they're are feral. huge. These ones are feral. So that's what happens when the mom raises them. This is the oh, first time. This day. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, it looks like a girl. It's a boy. No, it looks like a girl. Let me Only see. the kids will ever know. It looks like a girl. Let's see the other one. Okay. It's not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> anyway, we got we got them all settled. We got them with a I new feeder. See if she'll actually do that. Raise their water up so that it wasn't getting full of hay every day, but they're doing really good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stop screaming and your mom will notice. <laughs> These cute little ones are just like, what's happening over there? <laughs> and Silky. And no, that's the mean one. That's the one. She doesn't make a good mom, but she's still a good chicken. It's okay. And she's like, who are you talking about? <laughs> who says I don't make a good mom? I'm expecting our outhouse. and uh, So we have an outhouse on this property. Put a light down the, to the toilet part and it's all empty. 
That's a huge, big concrete holding. But tank. why would you do that? It's weird. I don't know. Yeah, the people who built this house or like lived here time like a few few people ago, they did a lot of stuff oh, to it. Oh. I know we can't get Hold it open. Part of it. No, it it pops up. What? It doesn't twist. It's supposed to twist. No, it it doesn't twist. Here. He's talking about this room here for any of you guys who didn't see it. It's like the secret room <laughs> that we never go in. Where to go when you play hide and seek? So apparently he's just oh. sitting there in his truck minding full, his own business. The whole bottom is concrete and it's in there. It's like a big... What and then the got the desire to go and look in the toilet. Yeah, well... Yeah, it's usable. Usable. Oh, that's cute. If you think outhouses are cute. It is looking dark, you guys. It is looking dark. And then sunny skies over there. So today we heard the words no horse owner ever wants to hear. Like the worst words. We went to buy grain for our horses. We, uh, you guys know, you stay on the same brand that you like and that your horses are used to as long as you can. Well. They sold out of our brand and they're not getting any more until after Christmas. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we didn't even have any warning. This is the stuff that we feed. It's called Cadence Ultra. And we don't have a lot left. That's why we went to buy more and we couldn't buy it. So now we have to try and switch our horses over to another brand, which is really hard to do. It takes so much research to try and figure it out. Lucky for us. We have another brand that we believe in and that we like know and are familiar with. And so we're just gonna switch to that brand. It's always been there for us. It's always, we've never had a problem getting it. So we're gonna have to do that, but it's gonna suck trying to switch it over. Yeah. All right, so I'm just wait. I'm gonna show you guys something in a minute. I don't know if you've noticed, but Sophie's carrying her wool around with her now. Okay, so this is what's so weird to me. This has never happened before in my life with Sophie. Like, there's never been anything that she's just jumped into and been and has an aptitude for it. She has an aptitude for crochet. I tried to teach her how to do it for so many years. She always resisted me, and then all of a sudden, she picked it up. But why I say she has an aptitude for it, it's like, I'm just picturing it in my head. She pictures something in her head and she just starts crocheting it. Yesterday, I literally taught her how to do the first chain, like how to do the very first part of it. I'm wearing my fancy boots. Let's do wheels, because she's damn. All right. Yeah, just what I didn't want to do. So let's tell them what you're making. I'm making an ear bonnet. Okay, her so keep in mind that this girl has never crocheted a day in her life. And she's crocheting an ear bonnet. That fits. And then it's going to be like that. No, you need to do more. You I know. To... This part needs to be thicker. Yeah. But I mean, that is incredible. It's incredible that like, you guys don't understand. Maybe I'm just an idiot and I don't know how, and it took me a lot of years to like figure that out. I follow patterns, but she sees it in her mind and okay. uses the stitches that I taught her and just makes stuff. Yeah, cutie. We can make a Christmas hat for the duck and the goose. I'll make a bigger one for you. You get pink, kind of get blue because blue looks kind of dull on uh, Sam and Sophie did the new hay bale today. Everybody doing okay out here? You guys are getting new food tonight. Better. Let's see. Well, remember. Okay, that's going to be cute. It has to go down her forehead. I know. Yeah, it's gonna be really cute. Anyways, Sorry, I'm excited. Like, I haven't told her what to do. She cuts the wool and reattaches it. She just figures it okay. out. Okay, it gets a little lumpy when I do that, but it's fine. Oh, the wind, all the wind. The wind came up, and we're like, whoa, let's go. Oh, I see a storm coming. That would be such a good picture. Imagine it. I just wanna say that in the past, I was the kind of person that would panic and I have panicked before when our, we haven't been able to get our grain, but Gabby, oh, I have to turn out the lights. Gabby literally has changed me. She's changed me so much. She's taught me not to be an alarmist. She's taught me not to stress. Like, what can you do? You can only do what you can do. But
But I'm really proud of us because when I can be right here, I have crochet. Normally, I would be so panicked it would be difficult for me to find an alternative equivalent. But today we just parked on the side of the road, and I said, "Let me look it up," and I was able to figure it all out. We bought a new nipple for the baby today, and we're hoping that it's going to work. So this is it. It's softer. And we tried something different when we cut the hole. Well, we, we were going to try something different. I don't know how you're supposed to cut these holes. We cut the tip off and it leaves this big kind of hole. I think we should have just poked it with a needle, but I don't think that would work either. I think she would get frustrated. Oh, it is 5 p.m. And this is what it looks like outside. 5 p.m. It's amazing how fast you can come to love a little farm. To me, this is what family is all about. Family, I need to get some hay. Family is all about working together to get everything done. It needs the <laughs> Let's show them. It's adorable. Can you let me in? Daddy, let me in. I'm carrying all this hay. Thank you. <laughs> now remember, it fits perfectly. she doesn't have a pattern or anything. She's just working on it and making it up as she goes. I, I'm making the ear pieces right and now. And she just started crocheting yesterday. I wanted to show you guys how hard this is at night. Jeff, let's show them through that part. This is the hard part. Oh, I almost slid. I have like my hands filled with hay. I ran out of hay in the goat barn. Oh. Let's go put the goat. Yeah, meet us down there. We'll meet you there. Sophie says this will work. Oh, this is heavy. I'm not strong. Like, I am strong. I used to be strong like Sophie, but now that I'm older, it's one thing I've noticed it's changed. I'm not strong. Now the hard part is not getting tripped by, by a baby running under your feet. She's behind me. I can hear her. See, she runs right in front of you. And she's so noisy. She is such a noisy goat. Yeah. Go quick! I can't, they're all in front of me. Just push them! <laughs> oh my god. Ow! Ow! Lola! <laughs> she's like, I'm taking your picture. Okay. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. oh, that was heavy. Oh my. My hand down, and then someone grabbed my finger. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was not good. Well, if she just leaves, she did See, it's too much for her. No, it tastes like silicone. Oh, did you bring the other nipple? No. Just hold it. I hold it like... No, I don't tip it. What are you doing? I've been watching... I saw like online the other day where somebody said that they bought 40 bales of hay. They showed it. 40 bales of hay. And it's to last their 12 goats for the entire winter. I went through tw 10. I went through 10 in a month. So I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I love <laughs> she's, They're getting so chunky. Oh, she's so chunky. Can you let me in with the boy? I think I'm going to adjust these feeders. These feeders are... These, he these feeders are really nice. I love them. But I think if I put like some some metal stuff hold on Ellie some metal stuff on here I don't even know what it's called that's how late it is okay let's get a move on here I want anyway I think I can adjust them and make it so that they don't waste as much I want to go back to crocheting let's go what are you doing in here Missy it's safe to say that horses are much smarter than goats is it safe to say that Every night when they come in, I always look at their bellies. And their bellies are always big. That's on the, on the left side. So I'm always trying to see if anybody's pregnant. Pour this into a bucket. Was she drinking? I don't think so. I don't know. Give me that bucket. I don't want it. It's just five steps away, Mom. Five steps. For a little bit. I just gotta keep that little. Did you turn on her bed? Yes. We give her a heated bed at night, and I'm telling you, she loves it. 
nipple. That's what makes goats so crazy is that they're on top of you. She gets so focused on her grain at night and in the morning that it's hard to get her to drink her bottle. Which when she wants it is like after everything's all settled down and you tasted it. Did it taste good? No. So the only way to like really give her her bottle is to stay down here for Watch, I'm gonna be a pro. <laughs> Stop. Five minutes later. Oh, she's got it. Oh, she doesn't have it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a lot more than I thought. <laughs> What if you drank it from the bottle? Here, give her the nipple. Do you have she the other like nipple? The nipple. Do you no, have... I don't. Just soak it in milk tonight. So this morning it took me like an hour to get her to drink her, her milk. What? what do you want? <laughs> she tries to leave. Every time Sophie comes out or we come out, she tries to get out. She doesn't think she's a goat. She hates being with the goat. She wants to be with us. And she, she knows us as her people. Yeah. And but... the dogs as her people. Yeah, she thinks the dogs and us are her family. You want their grain, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hear grain in there. Woo! <laughs> Be nice. See how she tries, Wait, Sophie, though? Better. You're too short, I know. It makes you sad. She didn't even flinch because I was there. It's too close to Christmas. It's too much work to have a house goat. We can't have a house goat. You would eat our tree. For sure. I know that because you eat everything. Rocky eats my hair. But we still love her. Are you glad we got her still even though she's a lot of work? Yeah. Who's the most work for the goats? Blossom. You think so? Yeah. Why? Because she needs a bottle where those ones you just give them water. Lola. I said Lola. You said Blossom. I said Lola. All right. Review it. <gasps> no! <laughs> Rocky! <laughs> I was gonna say, Rocky is the hardest. Rocky yeah, and no. Lola. Shout! Shout! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enough. I need to give them more hay. He's like, you're so mean. He's a brat because he doesn't, he just does what he wants. <laughs> and he has that like poltergeist head. So do all the goats. <laughs> I know, they all just do what they want. But see, he learned to jump on the door and he gets them out. If it's not locked. Hello, Lola. But we like him. He's cute. He's he is cute, but super annoying. <laughs> like Sophie and I did not realize that the goats were gonna be as hard as they oh, yeah. are. They've gotten used to us now. <laughs> yeah. so they push through us. Yeah. Like they're used to us now, so they're like, they're I'll like, do yeah, what I want. Feed us. Anyway, the duck and the goose came in on their own. I wanted to show you how hard they are. But they came in that back room there all on their own. And then we just opened the door. Anyway, that is it for today's dose of animal craziness. And let me tell you, it is crazy. Sophie's gonna just try the baby's bottle again because sometimes when she like gets used to the fact that Lola. it's over, that we're leaving, she'll have her bottle. It's really sad, but Lucy and Leo are starting to separate. They're starting to separate? Yeah. What do you mean? Like Lucy comes in the horse farm with me while I clean oh. and Leo does his own stuff. Yeah, and sometimes he'll go off with the horses and she's left behind. But I don't think it's because they're separating. I think it's because they're separated. They get interested in different things. So I just wanted to say before yeah, we Lucy leave is that all the work we did to prepare for Sam's surgery and get everything ready so that we can manage without him. The one thing we didn't do is put a light in this part of the barn. Sam did try, but we just need to figure out another option. Uh, Show them up there. That light not work. So he put a new light bulb. Oh, you guys can probably see it, that white thing up there. We put a new light bulb in there. It would be amazing. But it didn't work. So we're like traveling in the dark and hey, I that always phone. makes I me nervous. Look at that fresh round ale that'll be squashed. By yeah, the anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't you know that you're beautiful?